Today we are making bow tie pasta as we continue our Italian unit. Bow tie pasta is a family favorite of ours. We've already um, got the onion in the pan. We're going to add the garlic. My pan has already been used as you can see. We cooked the bacon and the chicken. I learned a long time ago to cook the chicken in bacon grease that it adds flavor to the chicken. And I love that bacon grease flavor that it adds. So I leave the pan as it is because I want to use the bacon grease that's in there. And I'm cooking the onion. The recipe calls for red onion, but I didn't have any of that on hand. So I just used regular yellow onion. If you don't have any red onion, just use, um, just use what you have. I'm just going to saute this for a little bit till the onion is opaque. some tomatoes to it. I did not have a Roma tomato, so I'm just going to add some canned tomatoes to this. With anything else, if you have fresh, use fresh always. But I'm making do. Quarantine food supplies. That's right. calls for four slices of bacon, but I always add a little bit extra, so I did six. And I cook them a little bit crisp, crispier than you normally cook bacon, so you want to crisp them up a little bit so you can chop them up. And then chicken breasts that were cooked in the bacon grease and then cut up. I did add the butter to the bacon grease. Now I'm gonna add my salt. It's a half a teaspoon. Salt. garlic salt. Half a teaspoon garlic salt. Half a teaspoon pepper. I'm going to turn this in. I've got it on about medium heat right here. I'm going to add my cream, my heavy whipping cream. The recipe calls for one ounce, but I'm making my own sauce today because I want to show you guys how to do that so you don't have to rely on jarred sauce. If you want to buy jarred sauce, you can. The jarred Alfredo sauce. And there's several different brands that I like. If you're in a time crunch, you can do that. But it's really easy. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own so that you don't have to rely on a jarred sauce. Classico makes a good one, I think. And Prego has a bacon flavored one. It's really good. Add the whipping cream and let it cook in. The 
this is another one of those things that I wish you guys could smell. I'm going to end up adding two cups of cream, which is about 16 ounces. Do not want to add that much cream. You can substitute half and half and do like half a half of it whipping cream and half of it half and half if you don't want to use that will cut down on the fat content if you want to use half and half. And then we're going to use it says an eighth of a cup of the Italian cheese mix. But because we're making our own sauce. We're going to use more than that, of course. I also like to set some of this out on the table in a bowl so that you can add to each individual serving as you serve it up. People can add a little bit of cheese to their goodness to clog up the heart. <laughs> We've already got the noodles cooked. We boil the noodles. Bota noodles. Bota pasta. Too many spoons to count. that I had in my pantry and I've had it for a while. My mother actually asked me to buy her some because my dad likes to eat just bow tie pasta with other stuff. And I've had a hard time finding bow tie pasta lately. So if you want to make this and you can't find this bow tie pasta, you can use penny pasta or the rotini pasta in place of it and I think it will be very similar so don't let that keep you from trying this if you want to try this at home. Delicious pasta. I'm going to end up adding some half and half to this. Y'all remember me talking about how Kevin hates certain noises? This is like the gravy noise that he hates. Okay. This is another recipe that's inspired by a dish we found at a restaurant. I believe it was Stella's back in my stay-at-home mom days. Greg and I used to have lunch dates at Stella's. I believe that's right. And I found this recipe. A lot of my recipes are inspired by, oh, I had this recipe and I had this dish at a restaurant and now I want to make it at home. Because you guys know I don't like to eat out at restaurants very often because I'm cheap and As it starts to thicken up, you can just keep adding half and half or whipping cream to your pan and then add some more cheese to it until you get it to the consistency, the sauce to the consistency that you like. You can even add, I've got Parmesan over here that I'm going to add a little bit to. I think that's about it for our bow tie pasta.